At that time, Jesus said to the crowds, When you see a cloud rising in the west, you say at once, A shower is coming, and so it happens. And when you see the south wind blowing, you say, There will be scorching heat, and it happens. You hypocrites, you know how to interpret the appearance of earth and sky. But why do you not know how to interpret the present time? And why do you not judge for yourselves what is right? And you go with your accuser before the magistrate, make an effort to settle with him on the way, lest he drag you to the judge, and the judge hand you over to the officer, and the officer put you in prison. I tell you, you will never get out until you have paid the very last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Nearly more than 50 years ago, one of the clarion calls that was given to us by the Second Vatican Council is to read the signs of the times, to interpret it in the light of the gospel and to live by it. In the gospel today, the Lord speaks about the signs. In fact, the Lord shows his admiration for us because of our intelligence. When you see a cloud rising in the west, you say at once a shower is coming and so happens. And so the same way, when you see the south wind blowing, you say there will be scorching heat and it happens. We can take them as compliments. But he also challenges us, how come you fail to interpret the appearance of the present time? Yes, especially in our time. There are so many happenings. There are so many events taking place. We need to look at them very carefully. We need to look at them through the lens of the gospel and interpret it. Yes, God wants everyone to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. And he expects us, on our part, we interpret the different events, different happenings through the lens of the gospel and live a holy life. Yes, the same council also insisted that each one of us is called to a life of holiness. Holiness does not mean living in an enclosure alone. Holiness does not mean that we become more and more self-focused. No, holiness means we truly become the messengers of peace, love and joy and above all in our times, God's justice. As we are together in the celebration of the Eucharist, let us humbly bow before the Lord and ask for the grace to interpret the events and to get rid of all kinds of sinful ways, sinfulness. Amen.